One of the key values of hope is that we all have gifts of leadership in us. That every one of us is called to be influencing and discipling other people. But as we've been going on this journey of discovery of who God has called us to be, we found even in this lockdown time that gifts of leadership is far broader than we've seen before. That means for some of us there's creativity in you. And for others there are compassionate gifts coming to the fore. We know at Hope Church that we have to resource ministry that we want to resource mission. Paul, writing to the Ephesians, says that all of us are on mission, but some of us are called to lay down frontline mission to build and equip the church. Our hope and desire in this season is that every congregation of Hope Church will have an elder who is working for the church, either part-time or full-time. And we're excited that Mike Garforth will be joining us in September to that very purpose. But we believe for every congregation in this coming season, that will be happening. Hi, good morning. Uh, My name is Mike Garforth. I am the congregational leader at uh, Hope Church Chislehurst. And um, I have uh, the pleasure, I'm looking forward to uh, coming on staff in September, the 2nd of September. And uh, just looking forward to spending more time in the Word, more time in prayer, more time with the congregation. And I've also got a particular uh, responsibility for social action and the development of that particular area within Hope generally. And uh, my wife and I, Monica and I, have been uh, at Hope since uh, 2011. And uh, I first Uh, came, my first experience of hope was uh, one Sunday morning when uh, my friend Tim was being uh, inducted as an elder here and I guess that uh, during that time, uh, that Sunday morning, I just felt God begin to speak to me about uh, a move to Hope Church and uh, and here we are, uh, still here nine years later and uh, I guess I was uh, inspired then and I just continue to be inspired now. It's just great to be part of a uh, congregation that uh, that loves the word, uh, that is open to the Holy Spirit and there is a general understanding and acceptance that we are here on mission, that we're here to reach the lost, reach those people who are currently unsaved or not yet saved. Um, and it's uh, from the, the youngest to the oldest uh, there is that general acceptance and understanding of this is why we're here. This is our current mission within Chislehurst. And um, I just continue to be uh, inspired and stimulated. Uh, there's an atmosphere and a culture of faith in uh, in hope generally. Uh, there's an embracing of the prophetic, which is great, which uh, uh, just led me to think this morning as I was thinking about what to say was that uh, we are part of Regions Beyond, but we're also part also of a New Frontiers family. And many years ago, a prophet by the name of Paul Kane gave uh, New Frontiers uh, a prophecy that uh, we would change the expression of Christianity around the globe. And uh, that's uh, very humbling, actually. It's a very high calling. And uh, ever since that word, it's sort of entered my heart. And uh, that's, what, uh, that's what we are about. We are about... Uh, an expression of Christianity which is word-based, which is anointed by the Holy Spirit, which is embracing the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, which is on mission, which loves the grace of God and will teach that doctrine, uh, which is so important and so foundational. Um, The emphasis on the baptism of the Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit, uh, of building church communities, it's just uh, it's just inspirational to be part and parcel of a church which has embraced uh, all that, all those values, and um, that continues to stir and stimulate my faith. And uh, we are we are in a in a culture where which is there to encourage each other. Um, we're here uh, for each other's success, and. Uh, 
often we can have these phrases, these strap lines, and uh, uh, they just become part of the furniture. But actually, I do believe in, in that. And I do believe that uh, the church is embracing that, that we are here for each other's success, that we are here to, yes, we encourage people in mission. We have a general commission to make disciples of all the nations. But within that, there are particular callings and it is incumbent upon us all to, and particularly those who are elders and pastors within the church, to identify gifting and particular ministries and release people into them. People need to know that they have permission to do what God has called them to do within the church setting and generally within society. We are here to extend the kingdom of God. That is our privilege, that is our pleasure, that is our high calling. Well, God bless you. Uh, have a good day. A minister apprentice is a new phrase in the lexicon of Hope Church. But what we're trying to sum in this is the sense that there are people who know that God has called them to dedicate a large portion of their life or this coming season of their life to help build and grow church. And we want to respond to that and create space within our team to bring people amongst us to grow in the leadership that we have observed and you have observed in them. And we're going to call them ministerial apprentices. And they'll work with us over a couple of years and we will work alongside them, sending them on theological training, but also giving them leadership experiences. So excited in this season that two of our first ministerial apprentices are Joy and Jacob. And we know as they join our team that God is enlarging us, but enlarging them as well. Pray for them, encourage them, but be expectant that God will be adding more ministerial apprentices to us as we continue to grow. So Joy, we're just going to have a chat about um, Hope Church and your involvement in Hope Church and uh find out a little bit about you as well. So um, what brought you to Hope Church? So I am from the States and I was a part of a Regions Beyond Church in the States and found out that um, I could come here to Hope Church and do a year's internship. Uh, so I did that. That was almost three years ago now. And then uh, a door opened up for me to actually come on staff and help out with the children's work and the youth work. So that's what I've been doing for the past nearly two years. And now another door has been opened to stay longer. So I need to get a new visa, but we're in the process. That's looking good. So you're and about to go back to the States, aren't you? And then, yes. And then come back. Don't yeah. leave it too long. Come back too long. <laughs> yes. That would be really good. So um, what were you doing before you came to the UK? So I was going to school, university. Um, got a degree in health science. So we'll see what God ends up doing with that. But... Yeah, now I've been able to be a part of Hope Church in England, and it's actually been um, amazing. I wouldn't have wanted to do it any other way, and I'm really excited to, uh, yeah, just to continue to be a part of what God is doing here. And you, you did something with acting school as well, didn't you? I did musical theatre for five years, yeah, wow. just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> just it, for fun. It was fun, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Well, it comes, certainly comes across in the way you do stuff, which is really good. Um, so what, what most excites you about the future of Hope Church? Well, I'm excited just that I get to be a part of it. Um, I'm excited to see what God um, is doing, you know, as he's growing us and expanding us. And um, for myself, I'm excited to grow more and learn more, um, especially, you know, in kind of all the different aspects of church life and kind of the pastoral side and uh, just things that I haven't gotten to be a part of yet. Because um, you, you're looking to come back, when you come back, you're looking to sort of take a more pastoral role yes. within the church. Just talk yeah, just a little bit see, about that. See what it's like, really, and just, um, yeah, experience kind of new new opportunities really and uh, I'm looking forward to being stretched and grown and and just looking forward to learning really. Brilliant, brilliant. Well that's been really good to hear something of your story and um, what your aspirations are going forward. So, so just interested to know what brought you to Hope Church and where were you, what was going on before that in your life? 
Yeah, um, so my wife and I, Maddie, we spent about six months in Australia, probably about two years ago now, um, with Glenn and Emma. So we, we went out with them um, in Adelaide, which was just great for us. It was a bit of a holiday, but also to see church planting in action, which was really great. And um, yeah, just loved being with them. And, and while we were there, we spent about three weeks with Trevor and Rachel, which was just so important for us. So knowing when we came back, we would want to be involved with them and Hope Church was in the back of our minds. Um, but then actually, I think it was the September, we came back in July and then the September, my dad, who's at West Wickham, he asked us, he asked me to come and lead a, a, um, a prayer meeting. I just thought I'd become play guitar for a bit and then leave. Got trapped in the room. That was and the North. That was the Bromley North, evening, yeah. Right? First Bromley North <laughs> evening. So, um, yeah, and just was listening to the vision of, obviously, you were sharing and it was just, for me, it was just amazing and went home and told Maddie that this is, you know, church plants happening in Bromley North and, you you know, you want to focus on the 20s and 30s and, and I just thought this could be this could be home for us. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's basically how we started coming and... Brilliant. Yeah, not left. Yeah, yet. I remember that night. You turned up with your guitar, and yeah. we'd never heard you before. It was fantastic. No, no, no. Like, we raised the roof. Yeah, you did. Well, we're standing next to Trevor, you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you got him there. So yeah, excellent. <laughs> that was that was really good that night. Actually, yeah, it was. It's good to it's good to have met you, but it's been great getting to know you over the last few months, and um, really good to see what journey you're on. So, what what most excites you about the future of Hope Church? Yeah, I think especially with all the online stuff now where, where I've been helping with the team to sort of make online happen, I think going forward it's just such a great opportunity having 800 people or so people viewing a video. You can see that actually it's a platform that we should be using, so I'm so excited about that. And, and church planting in general, Hope Church, you can see it from the history that that's what we do. So to be involved in a church planting movement is so exciting. And you see some some sort of multiplication in that, some... Yeah, ability yeah. to what, what how would you um like in your in your job how would you want to sort of like multiply out um some of your gifting to other people how do you find do you find that easy to do or? yeah sure i mean for me um being a creative i'd love to see more of the creative side and creatives come through in leadership i think um they've got such a lot to offer and i think um especially now creative jobs are um, happening more and more across the board so I think um, if we can come as a collective and and maybe we can try and you know lead something there that I think that'd be really really um, good for Hope Church. Yeah well it's been excellent seeing you you know do some of the stuff on the worship on the Sundays with Matt and Pete and others and uh, that's been really cool so um, it's we're looking for, really looking forward to having you about um, doing the stuff. Yeah, no, I'm excited. And Hope, that's yeah, been great. Yeah. So, uh, and Bromley North as well, you know. Yeah, you know, very you exciting. Asset, so, yeah. Yeah, well done. Thanks, Jacob, for no the worries. chatting to us. No worries. Today.